Hello everybody and welcome to Microcontroller Club. My name is Ihya and this video will be the second introductory video for Microcontroller World. In the previous video I talked about pic 16 f 84 a and how to write simple code and how to compile it and upload your hex file on, a, on your pic using the picket 2. But in this video I'll be talking about another IC which is the PIC16F877A and this IC is much much better than the older IC I used before and the reason why because this IC has more ports more pins you, uh, you've got many things to do you don't ha you're not strict to small ICs or small ports here because here there is a port A B and there is a C and D, there are and also three pins for E. So there are a lot of ports here on this IC, which is pretty awesome. Okay, let's get to the point. What I want to do in this video, I want to write a simple code that will do the following. I want to do this circuit. What it will do is, I'm connecting here a push button, and whenever I press this button, an LED will turn on, and as soon as I release the the button, the LED will turn off. As simple as that. And as you can see here, there is a crystal oscillator connected to the pin 13 and 14 as a crystal clock. And this is really important, guys. Whenever after you finish your project and after you finish compiling and uploading your hexa file and everything is done, you got to connect crystal to these two pins in order to work perfectly without any problem and if you noticed there is a circuit here on the left what it will do simply whenever you push this button you're like you're resetting the microcontroller like you're pressing the restart button and whenever you put that you, when you press that the pick microcontroller will start Compile and we'll start the code from the top to the bottom again. It's like you're pressing a restart button and it will start all over again from the top to the bottom. That's pretty much it. But if you noticed here, I'm not using such a resistor and a 5 volt. Here I'm using a pull up resistor connected to 5 volt. Here I'm, on the other hand, I'm not using. So how come this thing will work the same as this will, would work? I'll tell you the reason why. Here in port B, there is a, a cool functionality in the port B itself, which is there are there are there are there is, there is a built-in uh, pull-up resistor. Like there are small resistors there within the, the microcontroller itself connected to each pin of these of these pins on port B and in order to enable them you've got to use some special codes or special um, you have to configure them correctly in order to use them in your way you in your way you want so how to configure such thing simply uh, you've got to go to your data sheet that's the data sheet I downloaded from the pick from microchip that's for free Easy, easy to get it and search for something called pull dash up enter 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 okay so here that's what we want there's a, there's a resistor in the pick microcontroller pick 16 f 877 a called option resistor and that's what we need it's like there are many of these resistors I'll tell you where are they Okay, here we go. I'm close. Yeah, here. This page will tell you what kind of registers you have within your IC. So here, previously, I used some port, uh, some trust A, trust B. If, and you're familiar with this port A, port B, something like that. I've used it before. And here's something called option register. Okay, so what? That's what we want. Okay. 
type it here. Okay, so option register has a, a option register is a multi function register. Each bit of this register will do something. And at the moment, what we are considering is this bit, which is bit seven. So it says here that if you put a one in this bit, pull up pull ups are disabled. If you put a zero, pull ups are enabled. And that's what we want. So how to do this in code? You have to write option underscore register dot f seven equal zero. That way your, your pull up resistor on port B are connected. That's it. As simple as that. Now let's go to software and write our code. We need a program called Micro C Pro, as I mentioned in the last video. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now let's create a new project next and let's save my project on desktop, some folder, which is like a demo. To okay, let's save it as let's call it a lead controlled by button. Okay, and let's put our IC big 16F877A. And if you didn't find it here, you have to scroll down, down here, you will find it. No problem. But before I, but, but I found it easily because I used it many times. That's why it's written here. Those are the most ICs I'm using. Okay. And let's set our device clock. Since I have 20 megahertz crystal clock, I will put it here. Again, guys, you don't have to use the same clock, but it depends on what crystal you have. If you have an eight crystal, put it here. If you have 10, you have to mention it here, but this microcontroller do not use more than 20 megahertz. It might um, do. It might get you might get you get yourself in trouble. So be safe. The maximum thing you you should use is 20 megahertz. That's it. Okay, 877. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now let's get to the code. What we want is again this. Port B, you're working with port B and port D. So you have to configure port B as a input. Okay, here. So, address, address B equal 0xff. This line, I'm configuring all my ports B as an input. Again, guys, you have many ways to write your own code. Address C, I guess. Yeah, no, it's D. For trust D. Trust D equals 0, X, 0, 0. That's it. Now let's clear our registers. For B equals 0, X, 0, 0. For D equals 0, X, 0, 0. You don't have to type this line, but I type it here to make sure that my registers are cleared, all zeros, everything is fine. Okay, now to check each time that I'm using a, a push button, as you know here, I have to check each time that is this button is pressed or not. So I need a while loop to loop indefinitely, and a definite, an indefinite loop to check whether I pressed it or not. So while one, okay. And I want to do this. Port. Oh, sorry, I forgot something. Something really, really important here. Before using any of the features of the of port B, I have to write the code, which is the option register I mentioned in the in the beginning of the video. Option underscore register dot f seven equal zero. And that's fine. This thing will make port B works as a pull-up. This will activate the internal pull-up resistor in port B. Okay, let's get to the point. Now we want to make if statement, if else statement. 
f port b dot f and i'm connecting the i'm connecting the push button to pin 7 so f7 if port b dot f7 equal equal 0 it means it's pushed do the following make port d dot f let's make sure which pin i'm using dot f2 equal 1 okay and i have to write else else um, port d dot f2 makes it equal to 0 as simple as that so whenever you press this button this will turn on and whenever you release it which is else it will be off okay so now we compile our code by clicking build as you can see as you can see there's no uh, any problem here okay now the first phase of our of our video is finished which is the software now let's go to the, some hardware how am i supposed to connect it uh, how am i supposed to program and how am i supposed to uh, compile our uh, compile my code uh, how to upload the hex file onto ic simply you have the, you have here a picket 2 and you have the pins like each uh, picket 2 has this some arrow this arrow will points to the first pin okay so here's your ic what you want to do is connect um, pin 1 with pin 1 which is vbb as you can see here and 2 with 11 vdd and vdd 3 with 12 bss and bss and um, connect port 4 uh, not port 4 pin 4 with 40 and 5 with 39 and it's better to to put a wire between vdd and vdd on the other hand between between pin 11 and pin 32 and uh, another wire between pin 12 and pin 31 to make sure that your IC is, su is supplied fully with your with a power source so it won't have any problem writing your code or when you're when you're uploading when you're uploading process when the uploading process will happen it will not damage it will not miss anything so in order to keep it safe by doing this one you are supplying to to the next VDD or the opposite VDD side with a source as you can see okay um is there anything else i have to mention no that's it that's it for the software i will tell you now the the hardware part within within a second hello there now i've connected my connection as in this figure okay the VVB was to pin 1 to pin 1 and pin 2 to pin 11 and so on now I have opened the picket 2 programmer now I have to erase it's erase then file import my hex file then write now it's done now test time as you can see by pressing this button the light goes on by releasing goes off so sorry guys for taking so long thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe